this is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm here with Tariq Krim of Jolie Cloud, a platform agnostic cloud solution. Tariq, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Great talk, by the way. Thank you. Was, I'm very excited to be in uh, Turkey here in Istanbul. I've been wanting to come here for years, and uh, now it is. Excellent. So talk to us about, first of all, um, Jason Kincaid, the moderator, brought up a good point. We talk about the cloud a lot, but when it comes to your average user, I think people still tend to think of it as some kind of enterprise solution or you know, saving things to the iCloud is sort of vague. How do I access it? What is it doing? Can you just give us a brief description of the, you know, the use that you're targeting? I think, I think the cloud is just a fence, another fence name for anything you have online. I think we used to, you know, we always had different names for the information highway, the, uh, the internet, uh, the web, and now uh, the cloud. But in fact, it's, it means the same thing. It means there's a huge shift in our, in our world where we used to own things physically, books, uh, documents, paper things, uh, and now everything is going online. And the thing is, it's going online and it's not coming back. So it's, it, it, it become a big, a big, big thing to handle. How do we actually manage the transition to the digital world? So you made a really good point. I mean, right now I can sync from my iPhone to my iPad to my Mac computer. Say I switch to Android, you know, now I have this conundrum, unless I'm using other platforms like Evernote or something, how do I get my data from one platform to the next? Is that what Jolie Cloud is trying to solve? I think so. When we started, we I, I, when we started the the iPhone was so young; it didn't had well. I, we knew it would have a potential. Android was very early, so we said, "Let's build our own cloud platform, our own OS, everything using this weird technology called HTML5, and let's uh, try to figure out how we can grow with this." But now we think there's a, what I call the superpower of of the cloud: the super platforms, Apple, Amazon. Uh, Google, maybe Microsoft, if you can pull it together. And these platforms want to own, vertically integrate your life. You're going to buy a phone, you have to go for them for pretty much everything. And as a consumer, but also as an internet activist, I believe people should have choice. I'm using Dropbox uh, for, uh, for storing my data, Evernote for my personal memory, Instapaper, readability. I mean, there's a range of services. And I want to make sure that on any device I have, I have access to all of this. So this is why we created Jolie Cloud as the great unifier of all these different cloud services. When it comes to emerging markets, another thing you mentioned is the fact that, you know, basically a lot of these companies are storing everything on US servers. So your options are to use US servers most of the time. Um, how can emerging markets transform that? I think there's uh, many disruptions disruption occurring at the same time. The first one is the, the drop in the price of computers and tablets. The new price is 35 to $50. It means that if any, a country is smart enough, they should say, we will give away for free an Android smartphone to everyone. So you can use it for healthcare, for e-government, for pretty much everything that relates very simply if you don't have the... Because the thing with the iPhone economy is that it's, it's amazing. I, I love my iPhone 5, and, but it's super costly. Uh, most people cannot afford it. It's like having a Porsche or an OD. Not everyone can buy an OD. You need to have uh, cheaper cars to make it happen. And for, for the cloud, it needs to be the same. You need to have cheaper device, different type of services. So regarding the, uh, the I believe the, the cloud information is the next oil. And we need to figure out if we want to harvest our own and monetize our own oil on our own soil, or if we want to let other companies that are smarter or maybe earlier uh, from the U.S. to manage uh, our personal life. Personally, I believe uh, the cloud is in a huge opportunity for Europe and the emerging market to define the next generation of our economy. Uh, Excellent. One more question. Have you, do you host all of your um, data on local servers in France? And have you had any issues with convincing users that, you know, this would be more of an issue perhaps in the Middle East than France, but, you know, convincing them of the security of the servers? So the thing is, I've been using the cloud services for now eight years. You know it, the, how it happens. You start with Gmail, and then you end up being on Gmail all the time. Then Facebook, then Evernote. So I use a, a wide number of services. But what done the thing we're trying to look with uh, Jolie Cloud is when we uh, unify all your content, is there a way to preserve that content? Think about the Instagram photo you took of a friend's birthday. 
10 years from now, you're going to see that friend and say, oh, you remember that photo? Oh, I don't know where it is. It's gone because maybe Instagram won't exist in 10 years. So we need to figure out how to preserve, and that's the core of a business model, how to make people keep their life forever. It's not only about you know, using convenience services and then five years later. Think about MySpace. MySpace was like where all my friends were, where they were teenagers or in college, they had MySpace photos and stuff. All this thing is gone. They lost their most precious year of college through photos. So we, may, we need to make sure that, that that doesn't happen to most of the people online. So this is pretty much what uh, we, uh, we think. About the, the one point about security, I, I think this is one of the biggest problems. And we need to figure out how to use a combination of uh, encryption, uh, storage, uh, safe storage. But in terms of storage, storing things in the cloud where things are replicated is better than in a hard drive where when the hard drive fails, you just lose your data. So, but, but I agree, it's, it's still a, a, a point we need to solve. Thank you so much for chatting with Wamda. Thanks so much.